Bloomberg LP Wikipedia article audio Bloomberg LP is a privately held financial software, data, and media company headquartered in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. It was founded by Michael Bloomberg in 1981, with the help of Thomas Secunda, Duncan Macmillan, Charles Zeger, and a 30% ownership investment by Merrill Lynch. Bloomberg LP provides financial software tools such as an analytics and equity trading platform, data services, and news to financial companies and organizations through the Bloomberg Terminal, its core revenue generating product. Bloomberg LP also includes a wire service, a global television network, digital websites, a radio station, subscription-only newsletters, and three magazines, Bloomberg Business Week, Bloomberg Markets, and Bloomberg Pursuits. History Acquisitions In 2014, Bloomberg LP launched Bloomberg Politics, a multi-platform media property that merged the company's political news teams, and has recruited two veteran political journalists, Mark Halperin and John Heilman, to run it. In 1981, Salomon Brothers was acquired, and Michael Bloomberg, a general partner, was given a $10 million partnership settlement. Bloomberg, having designed in-house computerized financial systems for Salomon, used his $10 million severance check to start innovative market systems. Bloomberg developed and built his own computerized system to provide real-time market data, financial calculations, and other financial analytics to Wall Street firms. In 1983, Merrill Lynch invested $30 million in IMS to help finance the development of the Bloomberg Terminal Computer System and by 1984, IMS was selling machines to all of Merrill Lynch's clients. In 1986, the company was renamed Bloomberg LP, and 5,000 terminals had been installed in subscribers' offices. Within a few years, Ancillary products including Bloomberg Trad eBook, the Bloomberg Messaging Service, and the Bloomberg Newswire were launched. Bloomberg launched its news services division in 1990. Bloomberg.com was first established on September 29, 1993, as a financial portal with information on markets, currency conversion, news, and events and Bloomberg Terminal subscriptions. In late 1996, Bloomberg bought back one-third of Merrill Lynch's 30% stake in the company for $200 million, valuing the company at $9 billion. In 2008, facing losses during the financial crisis, Merrill Lynch agreed to sell its remaining 20% stake in the company back to Bloomberg Incorporated, majority owned by Michael Bloomberg, for a reported $4.43 billion, valuing Bloomberg LP at approximately $22.5 billion. Bloomberg LP has remained a private company since its founding, the majority of which is owned by Michael Bloomberg. To run for the position of mayor of New York against Democrat Mark Green in 2001, Bloomberg gave up his position of CEO and appointed Lex Fenwick as CEO in his stead. Peter Grauer is the chairman. In 2008, Fenwick became the CEO of Bloomberg Ventures, a new venture capital division. Daniel Doctoroff former deputy mayor in the Bloomberg administration, serves as president and CEO. In September 2014, it was announced that Michael Bloomberg would be taking the reins of his eponymous market data company from Dr. Roff, who was chief executive of Bloomberg for the past six years after his term as deputy mayor. WNEW in September 2014, 
Bloomberg sold its Bloomberg Sports Analysis division to the data analysis firm Stats LLC for a fee rumored to be between $15 million and $20 million. Since its founding, Bloomberg LP has made several acquisitions including the radio station WNEW, Bucina Suite Magazine, research company New Energy Finance, the Bureau of National Affairs and the financial software company Bloomberg Polar Lake. On July 9, 2014, Bloomberg LP acquired RTS Real-Time Systems, a global provider of low-latency connectivity and trading support services. Bucinus Week In 1992, Bloomberg LP purchased New York radio station WNEW for $13.5 million. The station was converted into an all-news format, known as Bloomberg Radio, and the call letters were changed to WBBR. Bloomberg LP bought a weekly business magazine, Bucinus Week, from McGraw-Hill in 2009. The company acquired the magazine which was suffering from declining advertising revenue and limited circulation numbers to attract general business to its media audience composed primarily of terminal subscribers. Following the acquisition, Bucinus Week was renamed Bloomberg Bucinus Week. Megan Murphy edits the magazine. In 2010, Bloomberg LP acquired Eagle Eye Publishing, a Fairfax, Virginia-based company that publishes data about procurement by the federal government. This acquisition became part of Bloomberg Government, which was launched in early 2011. Eagle Eye Publishing In 2009, Bloomberg LP purchased New Energy Finance, a data company focused on energy investment and carbon markets research based in the United Kingdom. New Energy Finance was created by Michael Liebreich in 2004, to provide news, data, and analysis on carbon and clean energy markets. Bloomberg LP acquired the company to become an industry resource for information to support low-carbon energy solutions. Liebreich continued to lead the company, serving as the chief executive officer until 2014, when he stepped down as CEO but remained involved as chairman of the advisory board. New Energy Finance Bloomberg LP purchased Arlington, Virginia-based Bureau of National Affairs in August 2011, for $990 million to bolster its existing Bloomberg Government and Bloomberg Law Services. BNA publishes specialized online and print news and information for professionals in business and government. The company produces more than 350 news publications in topic areas that include corporate law and business, employee benefits, employment and labor law, environment, health and safety, health care, human resources, intellectual property, litigation, and tax and accounting. Bureau of National Affairs In May 2012, Bloomberg LP acquired Dublin-based software provider Polar Lake and launched a new enterprise data management service to help companies acquire, manage, and distribute data across their organizations. On December 16, 2015, it was announced that Barclays had agreed to sell its index business, Barclays Risk Analytics and Index Solutions Ltd., to Bloomberg LP for £520 million, or about $787 million. The company will be renamed Bloomberg Index Services Limited. Bloomberg Polar Lake in 2011, sales from the Bloomberg Professional Service, also known as the Bloomberg Terminal, accounted for more than 85% of Bloomberg L.P.S. annual revenue. 
the financial data vendor s proprietary computer system starting at twenty four thousand dollars per user per year allows subscribers to access the bloomberg professional service to monitor and analyze real-time financial data search financial news obtain price quotes and send electronic messages through the bloomberg messaging service the terminal covers both public and private markets globally Bloomberg News was CEO founded by Michael Bloomberg and Matthew Winkler in 1990, to deliver financial news reporting to Bloomberg Terminal subscribers. In 2000, Bloomberg News included more than 2,300 editors and reporters in 100 countries. Content produced by Bloomberg News is disseminated through the Bloomberg Terminal, Bloomberg Television, Bloomberg Radio, Bloomberg Business Week, Bloomberg Markets, and Bloomberg.com. Co-founder Matthew Winkler still serves as editor-in-chief. Bloomberg Television, a service of Bloomberg News, is a 24-hour financial news television network. It was introduced in 1994, as a subscription service transmitted on satellite television provider DECTV, 13 hours a day, 7 days a week. Soon after, the network entered the cable television market and by 2000, Bloomberg's 24-hour news programming was being aired to 200 million households. Justin B. Smith serves as CEO of Bloomberg Multimedia Group which includes Bloomberg Radio, Bloomberg Television, and online components of Bloomberg's multimedia offerings. Bloomberg Markets is a monthly magazine launched in 1992, that provides in-depth coverage of global financial markets for finance professionals. In 2010, the magazine was redesigned in an effort to update its readership beyond Bloomberg Terminal users. Michael Dukmjian has served as the magazine's publisher since 2009. Bloomberg Entity Exchange is a web-based, centralized and secure platform for buy-side firms, sell-side firms, corporations and insurance firms, banks or brokers to fulfill Know Your Customer compliance requirements. It was launched on May 25, 2016. Barclays Indices Business Launched in 2011, Bloomberg Government is an online service that provides news and information about politics, along legislative and regulatory coverage. Products and Services In 2009, Bloomberg LP introduced Bloomberg Law, a subscription service for real-time legal research. A subscription to the service provides access to law dockets, legal filings, and reports from Bloomberg legal analysts as well as business news and information. Bloomberg View is an editorial division of Bloomberg News which launched in May 2011. Bloomberg View provides editorial content from columnists, authors, and editors about news issues and is available for free on the company's website. David Shipley, former op-ed page editor at the New York Times, serves as Bloomberg View's executive editor. Bloomberg Trad eBook is an electronic agency brokerage for equity, futures, options, and foreign exchange trades. Its buy-side services include access to trading algorithms, analytics, and marketing insights, while its sell-side services include connection to electronic trading networks and global trading capabilities. Bloomberg Trad eBook was founded in 1996 as an affiliate of Bloomberg LP. Bloomberg Professional Service Bloomberg News Bloomberg Radio Bloomberg Television Bloomberg Beta is a venture capital firm capitalized by Bloomberg LP. Founded in 2013, 
the $75 million fund is focused on investments in areas broadly of interest to Bloomberg LP, and invests purely for financial return. It is headquartered in San Francisco. The Bloomberg Innovation Index is an annual ranking of how innovative countries are. It is based on six criteria, research and development, manufacturing, high-tech companies, post-secondary education, research personnel, and patents. Bloomberg uses data from the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, the World Intellectual Property Organization, the United States Patent and Trademark Office, the OECD, and UNESCO to compile the ranking. Bloomberg has openly licensed its Symbology System and Financial Data API. Bloomberg L.PS headquarters is located in 731 Lexington Avenue in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. As of 2011, Bloomberg LP occupied 900,000 square feet of office space at the base of the tower. The company's New York offices also include 400,000 square feet located at 120 Park Avenue. It maintains offices in more than 192 locations around the world. The Bloomberg LP offices are non-hierarchical even executives do not have private offices. All employees sit at identical white desks each topped with a custom-built Bloomberg computer terminal. The office space also includes rows of flat panel monitors overhead that display news, market data, the weather, and Bloomberg customer service statistics. Bloomberg L.PS Management Committee includes Michael Bloomberg, Peter Grauer, and Thomas Secunda. In September 2007, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission filed a class action lawsuit against Bloomberg LP on behalf of more than 80 female employees who argued that Bloomberg LP engaged in discrimination against women who took maternity leave. In August 2011, Judge Loretta A. Prisca of the Federal District Court in Manhattan dismissed the charges writing that the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission did not present sufficient evidence to support their claim. Bloomberg Markets In September 2013, Prisca dismissed an EEOC lawsuit on behalf of 29 pregnant employees of Bloomberg LP. In addition, she dismissed pregnancy bias claims from five individual plaintiffs, and allowed part of the case from a sixth plaintiff to proceed. Bloomberg LP brought a lawsuit against the board of directors of the Federal Reserve System to force the Fed to share details about its lending programs during the U.S. government bailout in 2008. The records documented Federal Reserve loans issued to financial firms and revealed the identities of the firms the amounts borrowed and the collateral posted in return. Bloomberg LP won at the trial court level. The Second Circuit Court ruled in favor of Bloomberg LP in March 2010, but the case was appealed to the Supreme Court by a group of large U.S. commercial banks in October. In March 2011, the Supreme Court let stand the Second Circuit Court ruling mandating the release of Fed bailout details. On October 22, 2008, Bloomberg LP applied for a change of name of Bloomberg LTD, under S.69 of the Companies Act 2006. Bloomberg LP then amended its name to Bloomberg Finance 3 LP. Bloomberg LTD was ordered at the Company Names Tribunal on May 11, 2009, to change its name so as to not have a name that would likely interfere, by similarity, with the goodwill of Bloomberg Finance 3 LP as well as to pay costs. Bloomberg Entity Exchange Bloomberg Government Bloomberg Law 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7. NBC, Wall Street Journal, Agents France Press, MSNBC, Bloomberg BNA, Washington Examiner, TRNS slash Univision. Fox News, CBS Radio, AP Radio, Foreign Pool, Time, Yahoo! News, Dallas Morning News. CBS News, Bloomberg, McClatchy, Washington Times, Sirius XM, Salem Radio, Globe slash Roll Call. AP, NPR, AURN, The Hill, Regionals, Newsmax, CBN. Bloomberg View. ABC News, Washington Post, Politico. Fox News Radio, CSM slash New York Post, Daily Mail, BBC slash OAN. Reuters, New York Times, Chicago Tribune, VOA, Eel Clear Politics, Huff Post slash New York Daily News, BuzzFeed slash Daily Beast. CNN, USA Today, ABC Radio, National Journal. Al Jazeera slash PBS, Westwood One, Financial Times slash Guardian. Bloomberg Trad eBook. Bloomberg Beta. Bloomberg Innovation Index. Open Bloomberg. Offices. Locations. Corporate Culture. Leadership. Litigation EEOCV Bloomberg LP Bloomberg LPV Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve Bloomberg LPV Bloomberg LTD